welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be going through the things that are tempting me the absolute most this isn't like a deep dive through trend mood or new releases account this is the stuff that is already making me say oh crap I want that so let's kind of go through these products and see if they are worth on my limited slash no buy throwing some change their way. Let's find out. I'm uh, I'm really anxious about this one. So let's dive in. If you are new to my channel, my hair looks way better than this a lot of times, but it is rainy and humid where I live, so bear with me. And I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below to see all the fun, loud, weird, unique videos I put out every single week. Seriously, don't look at my hair. It's a mess today. Like I just said, as many of you know, I have been on a limited no buy since the beginning of the year and I've done pretty well on this. We are now into March and I've only like purchased a bronzer that was from Wet n Wild, like $3.99. Not sorry I did it. I'm wearing it today. Love it. But there are some things that are truly, truly tempting me for the new upcoming spring season. And as many of you know, I live in Florida where it's already feeling like summer slash spring here. So I am getting the itch, the makeup itch. Anastasia, sister, what are you doing to me on my no buy? Because this Riviera palette is really pretty. A lot of us thought it was going to be more blues and greens when they announced the name Riviera, but then they started coming out with these pink pops of color and corals, and then there are some blues in there, but we're all like, wait, plot twist. Do I need that? I'm just like, mm, dang it, you're pretty. There's some purples, there are some yellows, there are some like aquamarine shades. So... What do you guys think? I really, really need to invest some time to go through the reviews with this. I've already seen a few looks done with it, but uh, I need to hear from some of my favorite YouTubers how I feel about it, just like you guys do. Just like you come to me sometimes and you're like, Nicole, tell me the details. That's kind of how I feel right now. Especially on a palette that is $45. When you're on a limited no buy and I'm doing a Shop My Stash series, I feel like dirty. I feel like I'm just taking on more than I need. So that's why I really, really want to get into some of the reviews, but I also want to hear what you guys are saying. So what I'm going to do is figure out what people who love that brand are saying already about this palette, because this may sway me. Ooh, so somebody asked, when is this coming to Ulta? And for those of you interested, um, it may be the day this goes up. March 7th is when this is going to be available at Ulta and Sephora. Okay, there's a lot of people on the comments saying, are you getting this or yes, I've ordered this. So let's go on YouTube. This looks really cute. Wow, all right, that pink laid down really cute. The only thing this palette is missing is like a dark navy. I would love a dark blue instead of brown sometimes, but that's my only thoughts. Everything else is very cohesive. Now there is some fallout on my nose. Um, I did not wet the brush. I will wet it for this side. Definitely gives you like full metal and less fallout when it's wet. Woo! I'm feeling pregnant. Here are my thoughts. Um, like I said earlier, the overall look and aesthetic of the palette I think is really, really beautiful. Um, I do think that Cans, the deep um, matte purple, and Palm, the deep matte brown, they are sort of difficult shades to work with. These are not going to be, you know, dark colors that you can just chuck in your crease and blend out really quickly and easily and it's going to be perfect and seamless. Like it definitely takes a little while, like quite a little while to blend them out. It's can. This shade I'm definitely going to have to go over a few times, but I don't mind that. Usually with pastels and mattes like that, you usually have to. But I would say like second time, yeah, second time around, this is pretty pigmented. So I'm not really mad at that at all. Some final thoughts about the palette. I actually thought it was pretty good. Like, I think this is honestly one of the best palettes that they've ever put out. I even like it better than Modern Renaissance, like, because you can still create some pretty neutral looks, especially with these mattes right here. Okay, so through the reviews I am finding on YouTube and through some other amazing YouTubers, I'm seeing that these are really pigmented. These are very bold choices now. 
now from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is super exciting. But some of them I'm hearing are either good or they do well. Yeah, there's some fallout. But then some others were saying that some things are patchy and you really have to take your time to blend. It's not just going to be like a brown you could pop into your corner and go. So I'm going to obviously being me and this is a high end item. This isn't like wet and wild we're talking about. I'm going to take a moment, take a breather, do this with me. And I'm going to wait for a few more reviews to come out from other YouTubers that I really love, that I enjoy, because right now the YouTubers that are out there getting it are ones that are getting it immediately in the PR package, at least at the time of filming this. But that's something that is tempting me hardcore on my limited no buy. And I don't feel the itch from just the few things that I've seen to buy this right this second. I did see a video, I think from Kelly Gooch, who did a, before the palette even dropped, as soon as she saw the, the little teaser from it, she did go through her own collection to see what she could dupe for it to at least kind of color match in a way, which I always appreciate that. I'm gonna link that video below so you can see it. She's awesome. But that's, I'm, I'm gonna take a breath on that. What do you guys think about that palette? Or are you already like throwing your money at it? Like I already ordered it. Like I'll give you the tea later, girl. Or is that something that you're like, hmm, I don't know yet. Or is it just not speak to you at all? Tell me. Colourpop, I can't quit you. I can't quit Colourpop. Even though I am wearing parts of their foundation today, I say parts because I also combined this with my Wet n Wild, the Colourpop foundation is a huge fail for me for 2018. We're just not going to talk about it. It's a little dirty secret. Um, I'm trying to match it today. I feel like even looking at my viewfinder, my face looks a little lighter than my skin. Thank you, Colourpop. Um, but it's just not something I loved. But so many other eyeshadows make me crumble. The eyeshadows don't crumble. I crumble. Because I love them so much and I think they're so high quality for the inexpensive cost that they that they are. So there is a brand new, the day I'm filming this, drop for their spring teaser collection. And it's just a teaser at this moment. The Your Pretty Spring Palette and Jellies look beautiful. Why are you so pretty? You're so pretty. The like orangey looking yellow in the top corner of this palette gives me those paper tiger vibes. That is a ColourPop shade and it is a single that I have in my collection that to be real, I only touch it every now and again. I am a palette lover. That's what I love to reach for. And I don't really, I never had enough singles to create such a beautiful like palette like everybody did about three or four years ago. Everybody's kind of transitioned from singles in a big palette to buying palettes because that's just how the cookie crumbles in the makeup world. We evolve. And I used to use that a ton. I haven't used it a lot anymore, but I do still pull out my ColourPop palettes. So I could easily see that being like a replacement for my ColourPop Tiger, Paper Tiger color because I reached for it so much. I could see that looking so much like it. At this moment, when I'm filming this, there are no swatches yet, but just in the pan, that is what it looks like to me. And then there are some stunning looking corals and pinks and some like burnt orangey shades for spring, which clearly speak to me. Some of you say I wear them a lot in the spring and summer, so I try to vary it up, but those are the ones I really gravitate to. And the glitters look like press. I don't know if these are pressed glitters or not, to be honest, just looking at the photo, but that's what they look like to me. And with my NYX glitter glue, boom. I mean, that is a statement eyeball and I need it right here. I need it right here. So oh, that palette is speaking to me. And I have one of the the jellies that they have from last year's collection and I love it. It's like this beautiful burnt orange shade that really makes your eye look go crazy. So when I saw some of these yellows, I was like, oh, wouldn't that be spectacular for the summer and spring? And I'm like, mm, why are you talking to me, ColourPop? And since it's inexpensive, it's not like we're on the Riviera, you know, price range, I could easily see myself crumbling. So I kind of want to see what other people are saying. Everybody on here is pretty much saying, hey, ColourPop, can you take a breather so the rest of us could take a breather? That's why I'm doing a limited no buy. As much as I love all of their makeup pieces, I have been more selective on my own with not purchasing everything, even though it's so tempting. I haven't bought something from ColourPop, oh gosh, in a while. So that's why I'm like, mm, 
like I'm salivating over it let's be real Amanda Daisy said I actually really like the vibes of this collection because the tones feel fresh even if a lot of the shades are neutral ish hmm, good point and the thing is is I have a lot of singles from Colourpop so I need to keep that in mind too because I do have in my collection all right let's just get real let's do a deep dive into Nicole's collection as far as Colourpop singles go so I can keep a frugal mindset with this help me out here okay so I'm looking at the picture online of this beautiful palette that is speaking to me and I'm also going to be holding up some things that I have that are singles from Colourpop and I have a ton of their pinky corally some matte some shimmer shades that I've clearly collected here in this small palette so I'm trying to keep that in mind and in this other one because I ran out of room over here I do have Paper Tiger up here and this is a shade that I've always really loved so I put it in with a bronzer highlighter that I reach for every now and again because this color is the one I was saying looks so similar to the one that they have in this palette so I almost wonder tapping into my own personal Kelly Gooch style of seeing what I have do can I create that palette I mean I probably could as far as those mattes go but those shimmer shades those glittery looking shades are they glitter I don't know I want to know more at this time while I'm filming this I don't know if they're glitter but they look like glitter and I like shiny things I think I have to wait a little bit longer I mean is this even out yet new spring collection it's about to drop at the time I'm filming this the jellies the yellow jelly though I don't have so that's just like one of those things where it's like you would add a a piece or two to your collection it's not like a whole palette but let's be serious their stuff is so inexpensive like between 12 and 16 bucks for a palette individuals are more like six or eight i may look into those jellies oh especially once i have some actual like swatches not just some vanity photos that they put out for instagram and stuff it's just so inexpensive and I know I love ColourPop. That's why I get itchy. Tell me your thoughts though on that collection. Let's move along to another thing that I'm loving. That one is gonna stay on my radar at the moment. I'm not throwing my money at it right this second, but I'm itchy. Wet and Wild, you are the one that makes me knuckle under because you're just at my drugstore, just hanging out over there and you're like $3.99. You talk to me on a financial level and on a quality level and therefore I just am like, here, just take my money. Let's not talk about it anymore. Just give me what I need. They have a new $3.99 out now ultimate brow pencil. There are so many positive things going for this product that are making me go, it's an inexpensive brow product that I could really love and review it for you to let you know if you'll love it. First of all, it's inexpensive, always a plus. Second of all, it's micro. And I just told you recently, I am obsessed with my ColourPop Very Thin Brow Boss because I can get in there without doing too crazy of a brow. I'm wearing it today, I love it. So there's an Ultimate Brow Retractable, which is more of the triangular shape, it seems. And then there is the Micro that is probably more like this ColourPop Brow Boss. So we got a couple of things going here. So I'm gonna need to buy two. Oh, maybe, might be. Dang it. Looks like it is a beautiful spoolie. I trust that brand because so many of the things that I purchased from the drugstore are wet and wild because they're consistent, they're inexpensive, and amazing. Let's see what people are saying. Maybe they'll talk me out of it. Who knows? Probably not. First comment. Oh my god, yes. Fire, hearts, heart eyes. That was my reaction too. Ooh, so Gabby the Musical said, not gonna lie, this is the best product I own. So Moon Vixen said, this is the best eyebrow product. It is so seamless and it makes your brow look natural. And that is what I need. That is what I struggle with when I try other brow pencils because I always end up very bossy browed, very angry faced, and I'm trying to avoid that. Sarah, you just like dropped a bomb. Sarah says, I used to use an Anastasia product, but as long as this exists, I'll forever use it. Did everybody else hear that mic drop and she was just like out of the room after that comment? She meant that. Ruta said, this is her holy grail. Pizza Anna said, I used it this morning and love it. Oh, dang it. Is there anything bad about it? Tell me something that will make me balance this. I, I need a balance. I'm just going to sound totally biased. Make a shade for a redhead. Yeah, Wet n Wild, do that. Okay, so Ashley said, I love your brand, but this product is very waxy. Okay, okay, good to know. 
everyone is loving these products and I'm seriously if I'm at the store I'm not gonna just like drop everything during this video and go order it even though it's highly on my mind right now what I think I'm going to do is take an opportunity to actually find it in the store and see do I want the one that's more triangular do I want the one that's just more micro do I need both that's one that I could see myself knuckling under with because I go through this ColourPop Brow Boss so quickly. I don't even know how much product is left in here. I'm scared to take it up too high, but I go through this a lot and I may need another micro one. <sighs> and we don't need extra, so I would probably just get the micro to start. See, this is me growing. This is me not buying everything at once. Tarte. You don't have many eyeshadow palettes I enjoy, if we're gonna be honest. We all know that I have been talking about this palette in my recent Shop My Stash and it's gonna be good for summer, it's good for a highlighter. Use it with your fingers if you haven't seen that video. But there's not a lot of eyeshadow palettes you put out that talk to me. So where in the hell do you get off putting out your latest and greatest Rainforest of the Sea palette that looks beautiful and looks like it would kick this one's ass? Where do you get off doing that to me right now? I don't have time for this right now. High Tides and Good Vibes is the latest available now palette that is making me go, you look pretty like really pretty and I actually might want a freaking Tarte palette that never happens like ever so I'm looking at trend mood and I'm looking at these beautiful swatches and there's glitter you know how I feel about shiny things I like them all this has corals this has blues this has glitter all things up my alley and the swatches look good. That's something that really means something too, because when they just show the product and you're like, mm, this looks okay, like the swatches on these are always like okay, but they don't look like these swatches. These swatches look like consistent and really nice. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to talk us all down for a second and see what the comments are saying, unless they hype us up and then we're screwed and we're just gonna all buy it. Oh crap, all these comments like it too. We're doomed, we're all just gonna buy it. Keep in mind, this is $39. This is not ColourPop pricing, this is not Wet n Wild pricing, this is Tarte pricing, so keep that in mind when I go through how much people are thinking this is beautiful, because it freaking is. Makeup Jaded said, I never thought I'd say this, but I want a Tarte Cosmetics palette. How'd this happen? I strangely like this. Well, this is a little different and I'm kind of liking it. I can't believe I'm saying this is Mel Peach, but I really think these glitters are stunning. Tart me stepping up their game, says Jesse. Sarah says those look too gorgeous. My bank account hates it. See, that's just it. We're, we're gonna be talking 40 bucks. 40 bucks, and if you think about it, in your adulting day-to-day -day life, what could you spend on 40 bucks? Bills, gas, groceries, eyeshadow palettes. It could be a thing. Ooh, someone else just said something that did pop in my head. This reminds me of the ColourPop Mar palette. Hold please, I have that. Let's give them something to swatch about. This is the blue that obviously is gonna be the one standing out that people are like, hmm, this looks like it. <sighs> ColourPop, why you so great? This is why it's hard to say no to you, ColourPop, because of that. The other shimmery glitter looking shades are more of a red, a gold, and a silver. This one may look a little gold. This one may look a little gold, so let's do both just for funsies. Hard to see this one because it's close to my skin tone right now, but it's there. These are definitely more of like an orange, burnt orange, coppery look. I do have something that's more expensive that has a gold and silver in it, but I don't know if you want to talk about it. Let's talk about it. We're already here, right? This is also expensive. This is more like 50 something, but this is where my glitter obsession kind of comes from. Divine, Filthy Rich, and Lick are their silver and gold. So let's just have a sesh. Silver, gold, gold. This is without anything on it, no primer, nothing. This is an impromptu swatching. But you kind of get where I'm going here. I have some of these. Keep that in mind. You don't need to buy everything pretty and shiny, Nicole. You don't. Ooh, there is a matte aqua blue in there. So let's just wipe off a finger, delve into this Mar palette. So maybe I'm pretending to be Kelly Gooch right now and be as fabulous as her and doing her little idea here of swatching things. That's really pretty. I mean, just to give you an idea, I do have some of these things. So do I have to go out and throw a lot of dollars at this at the moment? No. Oh, this is why I'm glad I'm doing this. This is therapeutic. Maybe look through 
your collection if this palette is speaking to you to see what do you have that maybe you already could duplicate some of these looks with. Yeah, you'll have to marry a couple of different palettes together, but there's worse things in life. You know what I mean? Like saving $42 doesn't suck. I'm talking to myself there mostly. Sorry if that's sounding a little preachy because that's more to me going like, you don't have to buy everything, Nicole, just because it's pretty. Let's just go through this beautiful blue matte just for funsies here because there is another blue in there it looks like. Oh yeah. So like Colourpop, way, way cheaper. Okay. Kelly, you're onto something with this idea to talk yourself out of having to buy 50, 40 bucks worth of makeup, you know? I don't need to buy a $40 palette when I have some of those things. I just need to piece them together. I'm going through all of this. I love doing this Shop My Stash series and kind of seeing what else I have as I'm looking at these, oh crap, I want you selections because I do have a good collection going. So tell me below, what are you thinking that you're wanting? Are any of these items speaking to you? Are there other things out there that you're like, oh crap, I'm going to knuckle under soon? Tell me below because I think this is like a support group. We just help each other out. And sometimes it's just good to remind yourself, oh, you don't need to go buy that. You already have something so similar. These are the things that are speaking to me or tempting me hard. Tell me below what you're wanting. What are you thinking? What things are tempting you out there? I love to hear it. We're a big community of support for each other. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you happen to be new to my crazy little channel, hi new friend. I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below, especially if you like litter. For all of the fun, low, weird, unique videos I put out every single week. Bye friends.